Hi boys and girls, this is Mrs. Witten coming to you from my little purple chalkboard. Today we're going to draw the robotic mouse that is in Interstellar Cinderella. Such a good book. There's the mouse right there. Okay, are you ready? We're going to start by making a triangle. So we're going to make a nice long triangle for this mouse. That is his body. He actually has a light on the end of his nose because he is a robot. So I'm going to color it yellow or color it in a little. There's his nose and he has a mouth. So I'm going to make him a mouth like that. He actually can talk now. If you want to erase this line, you can because then his mouth looks open, but he's still part of the triangle. Now, he has ears just like Mickey Mouse. So he has one big circle here and another circle in front of it. So we're going to make another one that kind of overlaps right in front of it, just like that. Now, if you want the back one to look like it's in the back, all you have to do is erase the part that goes on the front one. So if you just erase that, he has two ears, one that looks like it's behind the other. Now, because he is a robot, he has wheels instead of legs. That's pretty cool. So we're going to give him some, his wheels are right in the middle. So we're going to give him a wheel. We only really see one of his wheels, okay? And we can erase this line if it bothers us. And inside his wheels, he has like the little spokes, kind of like your bike would have. And he actually has a washer for his shoulder, which is kind of cool. Um, we're going to make a circle right in the middle of our triangle, like that. This is going to be his shoulder in a minute. Then, because it's a washer, he's a robot, we're going to make another little circle inside that one. So it looks like a washer. From this washer, out comes his little arm, and it kind of looks like the letter V, or maybe a check mark, okay? And you might even see the other arm. So we're going to make part of the other arm coming out, too. We actually can see the front of his arm. And on the ends of his arm, he has two little circles for hands. So two little red circles or whatever color you want, just pencils fine. Um, the last thing he needs, oh, not the last, second to the last, he needs an eyeball. So we need to draw his eyeball. I'm going to use my white. Um, we're going to give him a nice big circle above his mouth for his eyeball. And the front part is dark, but the back part is the white part of his eye. So I'm just going to color in the white part and leave the dark part. You can color in the dark part if you're using pencil. Probably the opposite of my chalk. Now, the last part is the best part. He has a tail that is a plug that plugs into the wall. So he has a nice, you can make him a nice swishy tail. And then at the end of the tail, you're going to make the letter U kind of upside down like this and make a line across it. So it looks like it could be a plug. And the part of the plug that goes into the wall, we need to draw the little, um, two little lines to make the part that goes into the wall, into the, the electric outlet. There, now he has a plug tail because he is a robotic mouse. Now. If you like the robotic mouse, stay tuned. I will be reading Interstellar Cinderella, and you can listen to that on the next video. Bye, boys and girls.